Connor, welcome to FAI TV. I imagine you're the envy of your Irish teammates now that you've been back in action for probably about a month now. How has the return to football been over there? Um, yeah, I mean, it's been great. Like, um, being the first country back playing, um, yeah, that's the, um, the best thing you can do as a player, just go out there and play. Um, I think the German government have set up um, great restrictions. Um, so the most important thing is uh, the safety. And during the time now um, when the Bundesliga was back, I felt um, very safe. And I think um, everything's going well. And I think uh, also it showed, um, Germany showed great example to um, other countries. You now see like um, the Premier League and La Liga back playing. So um, they saw in Germany it, it worked, everything worked. And yeah, I'm really glad that I could be a part of the first team now and uh, train regularly. Um, yeah, the most important thing is safety. And then I'm also really happy to be back playing. Absolutely, safety is a priority. I would say that many of your Irish teammates have been in contact with you asking what it's like to experience what's been dubbed in Germany, the ghost games. How have you been finding that? Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit strange. I think that's normal, um, but you have to get used to it because um, playing these uh, called um, ghost games is way better than uh, not playing at all. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a little bit different. Um, you don't have the atmosphere and um, the fans in Germany are um, very loud and it can push a team, um, but it also um, reduces a little bit of the pressure, I think. Um, because you don't have like 50,000 people um, screaming at you or, I mean, it's a little bit uh, less pressure, I would say. But, um, I mean, with fans, it would be way better. But at the moment, it's uh, the safest thing to do. And of course, you're not the only Irish underage player that's playing their trade over there in Germany. We have Anselmo Garcia McNulty at Wolfsburg. Is it good to see so many of the Irish players playing across the continent and, and testing themselves in different countries? Yeah, of course. I mean, um, there, are, there are a lot of uh, great Irish young players, especially. And it's great seeing them like all over the world, not just in England or Ireland, um, even in Germany. So I think um, Irish players are a great addition to the Bundesliga. Putting aside everything that's happened with the virus and the lockdown, this has been a big, big year for you, hasn't it? You know, firstly, your international debut, but also on the fringes of the first team. Has the lockdown allowed you time to reflect on what you've accomplished this year? I mean, um, I spent some time at home during um, the lockdown here in Germany and I had some time to reflect on different things. And... Personally, for me, um, it was a great season so far. Um, I played my first uh, international game for Ireland, which was a really great feeling for me. And then, um, yeah, I was a lot with the first team, training with them and even being in a couple of um, squads for the Bundesliga or um, the Europa League. Um, yeah, it was a great experience. I tried to um, soak everything up and... Um, learn as much as I could um, and I mean being there um, especially those away games in uh, Rome and in uh, Istanbul it was great just traveling with the first team and being a part of the team and yeah I was hoping to get um, on the pitch but overall the experience uh, was was just great and I tried to soak everything up like I said yeah so let's go back to October of last year you called up to Tom Moen's under-19s team for a friendly, a doubleheader against Denmark. Describe to me what it was like when you walked in the dressing room and you see the green jersey and you see the number 10. How did that feel? It was a bit of an unreal feeling. I felt very proud and blessed. Um, just seeing that number 10 shirt there, hanging there and with my bottle, with my name on it, just seeing my name on the shirt. Um, I was uh, really excited to go out there and play um, because you feel so uh, proud to play for a whole country. Um, and yeah, my mom was also um, very proud and even emotional. So it was a, a great moment for me. Um, everybody was really proud of me and happy for me. Um, 
I had my grandma and my granda um, driving over with my dad, um, with my girlfriend. Um, so my dad and my girlfriend even came um, from Germany. They flew to Ireland, um, met up with my uh, grandparents in Dublin, and then they drove to the game. So I was really happy that um, they were there. And also like my uncle, my cousins, everybody um, sent me a text and said that they were really happy and proud of me. And yeah, it was great for the whole family. I um, really enjoyed myself uh, playing for the, on the 19th for Ireland. And um, yeah, um, unluckily we didn't um, qualify for the European uh, Championship or for the um, Elite Round. Um, so maybe uh, the next step would be the 21s. Um, but my focus is more on uh, the club football and I think the rest will come uh, by itself. Um, but I mean, it would be great just playing for the 21s or even uh, someday for the first team.